Hello viewers of the People Systems channel. My name is Daniel and today I want to pay some extra attention to a display module in a second generation of high vision intercom system. Power it on, configure and show you how to do all that stuff. Let's begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. So what's the catch? And first of all, it is literally a display module so that a person on the other side can see the system status. That is, a call is happening, the door is open, and the password was entered successfully, and well, so on. And secondly, the most interesting, via IVMS 4200s, you can upload a list of a uh, up to 2000 contacts in this module all into a built-in memory, and then with these buttons, you can select a person to call among all the contacts listed and dial up. Also, a bundle of a display module and a keypad module will work the best. As for the execution of many actions, for instance, entering a password and calling by typing a number, you need a keypad. And now I'm going to connect everything up here, show you how to enroll contacts, to the display module, set a public entrance password up here and demonstrate you how does it all works. As you can see, we have here two monitors and I'm gonna bind each of them to a certain room to show you how this works if the system has more than two rooms, multiple users. And here are three modules fixed in a bracket, a door phone, a display module and a keypad module. And here's how it looks on the back. There's the alien cable coming from the POV switch to the door phone, and from there the door phone kinda distributes this power down to other modules via power transmission interface and communicates with them over to a 485th interface. And also we have displayed this chain on a dip switches here and here. The panel is 0, the display is 1, the keypad is 2. And now the IVMS part. I have already activated and added all devices to the IVMS 4200s, here you see all of them. And the first is the Dirt Phone KD803, now then you see monitor 1 and monitor 2. Uh, and actually with the modules, you don't need to configure anything in any way, if you got them connected correctly, they are already online. So I'm not gonna show the device's activation since I've already published a dedicated video uncovering this question and there and, and now you'll see a prompt linked to that video and I'll leave it in the description. Alright, first uh, we will designate monitors under different rooms, this one and this one. So I go to settings for the first monitor, let it be this one 6320, just because it just doesn't matter which one is first uh, press the cog button see it loading and first thing I'm gonna do I want to go to the intercom tab and press the ID configuration section now from here since I've decided this one will be the first I am leaving everything as it is here call number one floor number one and well yeah just checking okay and now the network tab here I'm gonna link I'm gonna tie uh, the door phone with this monitor so that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for a KD803 IP address uh, and and now typing it right here. One to oh, <laughs> 168 I0 107 and copy and pasting it into the door phone IP address. Checking here that's the D series. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, perfect. Uh, respectively, here you can uh, input a master station IP address that you can make as your computer or any system admin uh, administrator. Uh, and the CIP is usually bended to a concierge, but I don't need it now. So, I'm just saving and yeah, that's correct. Yeah, and closing this. What now? The second monitor settings, the KH8350WTE going to its settings. Yeah, and actually the same way we did with the first monitor. But, but first of all, intercom, ID configuration, and here, uh, the floor is the same, it remains a number one. But, we're gonna make it second room, so we press two here, and saving. 
And the same as we did with the first monitor, network, linked network configuration. And again, just type in the IP address for the phone here and here. And that's what, what I'm doing. Oh, no, I, I got it. I got it copied. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. And I'm so happy about this. I uh, check again. Yeah. And saving. I got it saved. Perfect. Fantastic. And, well, that's actually all that we need from our monitors. Um, what now? Uh, I'm going to create two users, bend monitors to them, and upload that new data into the panel and into the display module. So I'm opening the person tab in the IVMS and creating the organization people. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm pressing add, meaning add a person. And yeah, 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 there we go. Person one, name, Daniel, that's me, probably. Mail, email, whatever. And putting a, like, I don't know, random, random numbers, because uh, this is all for the demonstration purposes. So yeah, type in random numbers. Uh, and of course, I'm creating a card. Again, this <laughs> random numbers, there we go. And now, 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 I emphasize here. Resident information, as Daniel is the first guy, you remember our first monitor is KH6320. So we, we select it, floor number one, room number one. Perfect. Now pressing add. Edit. Now I create a second user. I uh, let it be Will. Person ID 2, email, whatever. The phone, whatever, card. Whatever again. Random. And resident information, emphasizing here too again, bending second device KH8350 that we have indicated as a second monitor, as a second room. And now floor number one, call number two, call number means a room. And adding. Fantastic, fantastic. And I'm going to upload this information, this data, into the display module. Uh, so what I do, I'm opening the Access Control tab here in IVMS. I uh, go into Authorization and the Access Group. Pressing Add the rule here, naming it an Access. Just let it be an Access. Uh, and no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm pressing my company that created. You see, I two users that we've created appear here and right, meaning everything is just as we need it to be. And now looking here for I the phone and it looks like it ain't the one ah there it is and why is it what is it has a 16 yeah whatever all right and we have uh selected an access point so there we are and the period here too uh press and save yeah and now you see the status to be applied so i mark it here and press apply to all device the progress the progress bar appears status applying and what actually happens now is the display module it says importing on its screen, meaning, yeah, it's getting uploaded with this new data. All applied. Also, I, I can see in the system module, everything was applied to, so that's great. Um, closing it, and uh, we're actually done with this. And now I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna set a public password so we can enter uh, using a password on a keypad module. And uh, for this, I gotta go into the Dothone settings. That's what I do. Come here, intercom, uh, permission password. And you see, you can set a three public passwords. I uh, need password one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And saving. And well, that's actually it. Here we are, the public password is set. And well, moving on to the demo. Here are all devices, two monitors, a dirt phone and a modules. And as you can see, there's a different room numbers indicated on the monitors, uh, one and two. And now the display module. I press down to go into context and here I, I got those two users that I've uploaded with different numbers in accordance with monitors and rooms. So calling Daniel and the call goes to monitor number one. And if I call Will, we have a call on the second monitor. That is exactly what we need. And about displaying the status on the display module. The module here already indicates what you can do. Enter a password, dial a number, and go into context. And now let's enter a password. Uh, number sign, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, number sign. The door is open. The door is open as a second function. And with the help of a uh, keypad module, we can call, well, just input in a number. So it'll be one, as Daniel, remember this monitor, number sign. And there we have a call, hey there. Drop. And, and the same for the wheel. Two, dial. There we go, hello there. So, yeah, this is how it basically works, and you can also see the status of here. So, 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 yeah, it's just that simple, and now let's conclude, let's sum the whole thing up. The main feature of the display module is the ability to load up into it up to 2000 contacts. And that is especially convenient if you have a really large object and a lot of new visitors, because they don't even need to know the number, they can just find the name that they need in the contact list, which simplifies everything. Of course, you can use a multi-subscriber module instead of the display and keypad, but there's only six buttons here, and you have, let's say, 100 rooms, you will need to buy about 17 of these, and you need to take two or three door phones to this number of modules. And, well, in the Vigil System Store, we have all the modules of the second-gen high vision intercoms available, and much more, including alarm systems, IP cameras, and many other devices, brands, and if you, and if you indicate that you are our subscriber, we'll make a more interesting offer for you. Need help? Questions, descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section below the video. Then none, a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for the attention.